Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps. It's me, it's Peps. Right, today we are painting Durham Red by Warlord Games Miniatures. This comes from the Strontium Dog Range, and we'll probably talk a bit more about her as we go along. But let's get going, because you no face in this video, purely painting. So I start off with a grey base coat which I then gave a nice zenith highlight in white before picking out the flesh tones and brighter areas with just pure white. I then hopped into the painting with some black contrast, which you can see me slapping on here. Picked out her black leather boots and her guns and a couple of the, uh, I guess, the wrist parts and sleeving. But yeah, so this character, Durham Red, she is a mutant with vampire abilities and uh, a keen eye for Johnny Alpha after drinking some of his blood. She's a, she's a weird character, but so good in the comics. She's got a bit of a wild streak. She's one of the rare female cast members. Um, not entirely sure why that would be, but it was still quite rare back in the early 80s to have such a strong female lead. After the death of Johnny Alpha in the comics, she actually goes on to get her own series, which was written by the amazing Dan Abnett. Uh, it's set way into the future of Strontium Dogs, and I highly recommend reading it if you've not seen it. And if you want a quick overview of that comic, you can actually head over to www.adventureswithpeps.com, and I've got all the blog reviews on the whole series of Durham Red. Here, uh, whilst I'm chatting, we're now putting on the contrast paint Leviathan Blue. Putting this on to what is the metallic sections of her outfit. Uh, I find that if I use that as a base coat, and then as you'll see later, use a silver metallic paint on it, it seems to give it a nice shine. But yeah, uh, in the comics, she is a vampire in all regards, in the fact that she drinks human blood. But she doesn't have the weaknesses. She's not scared of garlic, sunlight, stakes to the heart. None of that matters. She is just completely immortal, loves drinking blood, and has none of the weaknesses. Complete badass. Uh, as you can see now, I'm using Flesh Terra Red on her trademark hair, which gives her a bright, bold red color. Uh, yeah, I'm basing this paint scheme off the classic 90s comic strip, which was kind of gold, orange, yellows, uh, metallic silvers, and then black leather boots. This was a real fun model to paint. Uh, you've probably noticed by now that the video is actually going at three times the speed. So it took me probably start to finish about an hour with basin as well. Basin was very simple, it was sand painted grey with a brown wash over the top so you don't actually get to see that in the video. But here you can see I've just finished picking out all the red parts on the model. Didn't want to go over the top because I really wanted the hair to stand out. So that's what she's looking like so far. Then the orange. So I use this on the bodysuit. Um, I'm not entirely sure in the comics it looks brown, but I hate, <laughs> hate using brown to colour bodysuits or outfits. I think uh, Blubber Lips from one of my earlier videos, I'll have a link in the description. He had a brown, technically was meant to have a brown bodysuit, which I ended up going with an orange and it just looked really cool. So I think that's actually going to appear more and more often. Uh, next up was the flesh. Color. I, mean, I used Gulliman flesh because that's the only flesh tone I've got at the moment. But as soon as I put it on, I realized it was too dark. So throughout the rest of the video, you'll see me keep hopping back and forth as I try to lighten it, and then I darken it, and then I lighten it. And then I end up getting some uh, pallid flesh paint for the uh, from the base range, and I think. I then slap that onto the flesh areas and then I use Skillam and Flesh again to tone down the recesses to make it look a bit more natural. It's ugh, It was a process. I'm, I'm never good with flesh and she's got quite a lot of it on display. 
shoulder pads I knew I needed a bright bright yellow so I started off with a contrast yellow I think it was the the York one Nasdreg flash kit one uh, ultimately I will go back to that and lighten it up even more but uh, here we go back to the flash decided that there was some overspill on the Leviathan blue so I thought I could cover that up with some white paint which I then put Gillum and Flash over again but it then it leaves this like weird tide mark <laughs> when I actually go back to do it uh, then I'm trying to pick out the Strontium badge these models though I love them the detail is not great I also realized that I'd overshaded the eyes so I tried to correct that but yeah this is something about this model it's it's a really cool model but it felt tiny when I was painting it and yeah if you can see it's super thin it's very delicate it felt like it could snap <laughs> so I was touching it I know it wouldn't because it's made of metal but it just it feels so delicate and my eyes were starting to squirm like it's thinner than my finger which made it feel very intense when trying to paint uh, what am I up to here? All right. oh yeah I'm still messing with the legs basically here we go the palette flesh I, I realized I completely messed up and that she looked like she had a very healthy tan or she'd been on the sunbeds too long which just didn't seem right for her so there we go blocking it all back in with pallid flesh which seemed more more natural for a vampire <laughs> to be a bit paler in complexion also at the same time even though this looks good I realized it was also too pale because she isn't scared of the sunlight so I knew I had to go back in and hit it again with Gullum and Flash now for those of you who don't know I'm from Ottawa and right now we are going through a horrific humid hot weather spell meaning that this paint is drying so quick that by the time I finished this section it was dry enough to put the Gulliman <laughs> shade back on which you can then see me doing this time I was a bit more a bit more controlled with it see I put it on and rub some off put it on rub some off this way I was able to give the effect of shadows but without giving her I've been on a sunbed tan line which is the effect she originally had um, yeah so at this stage very easily tabletop ready um, I did attempt to do a mouth and eyes but I'm just not good enough for that at the moment can't wait until I am good enough to do that kind of painting but for now that's where I am I then picked out some base colors ultramarine blue I think just flashed on the screen that I'm using to just highlight some areas on her belt which was painted at Leviathan blue but it's a bit too dark then using a bit of metallic silver I think a uh, technical name is lead belcher picked out some buckles on her boots I then go over the chain mail I call it chain mail I'm not entirely sure what it is it looks like chain mail on other painted versions of it people have done it as dots so I'm not really sure what it is and then I gave it a quick dry brush also don't know if you've noticed this yet but I'm using the same brush start to finish uh, yeah I'm I use contrast paints I use one brush I don't want to spend too long I enjoy painting but time is pretty much of the essence for me so I like to get in get it done get out also um, 
you probably may have noticed with the metallics I paint on then I use my fingers to swipe away a lot of the paint I find the effect helps to keep the metallic in certain areas but wipes away the top edges which gives it a nice overall effect so yeah um, I'm gonna just leave you with the rest of the videos I'm just touching up parts trying to add extra depth to her hair and I hope you will subscribe hope you'll give this video a like but uh, I hope you'll come back and watch another video cheers for watching